Russia will soon provide a complete squadron of Sukhoi Su-35 fighter jets to the Islamic Republic of Iran. A development that will likely further rile up the West as Tehran and Moscow deepen their defense and economic cooperation in defiance of sweeping sanctions and coercive measures. Media reports, citing military experts, said 24 units of the twin-engine and super-maneuverable aircraft, a fourth-generation fighter jet designed primarily for air superiority roles, will be supplied to Iran in the near future. It is believed that the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force Iriaf, tactical air base TAB, aid in the central Iranian city of Isfahan, will accommodate some of the combat aircraft. Russia's United Aircraft Corporation UAC, says the Sukhoi Su-35 fighter jet combines the qualities of a modern fighter, super maneuverability, superior active and passive acquisition aids, high supersonic speed and long range, capability of managing battle group actions, etc. And a good tactical airplane, wide range of weapons that can be carried, modern multi-channel electronic warfare system, reduced radar signature, and high combat survivability. Iran hasn't acquired any new fighter aircraft in recent years, excluding a few Russian MiG-29 Fulcrum fighters it bought in the 1990s. Besides the MiG-29, Iriev mainly uses locally modified F-4 Phantom II F-14 Tomcat and F-5 EF Tiger II planes from the 1970s that the toppled US-backed Pahlavi regime received before the 1979 Islamic Revolution. Iran and Russia have signed major deals in recent months to boost their economic, trade, energy and military cooperation. Iran came under an inclusive regime of American sanctions in 2018, after Washington unilaterally withdrew from the 2015 nuclear deal, officially known as Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action JCPOA. The United States and allies imposed a raft of similar and even tougher sanctions on Russia in February, after Moscow launched a military operation in Ukraine. Experts say U.S. sanctions failed to reach their ultimate objective of forcing Iran into major political and military concessions. They insist the bans even created an opportunity for Iran to diversify its economy away from crude revenues and rely more on its domestic resources. Earlier this year, Russian President Vladimir Putin said during an economic forum in Vladivostok that Russia was gaining from Western sanctions. saying Moscow saw more opportunities in entering markets in the Middle East and Iran, after the sanctions were imposed. According to the latest media reports, 24 Sukhoi Su-35 fighter jets initially produced and set aside for Egypt, could now be delivered to Iran. The Russians have been hunting for customers for the unsold aircraft, and it seems Tehran has come up as a natural choice, I-24 News reported. As the Americans started distancing themselves from the Egyptian military owing to the latter's poor human rights record, the Egyptian government signed a deal with Russia worth US $2 billion for over two dozen Su-35s. However, the deal eventually fell apart. As Iran has been aiding the Russian invasion effort by supplying kamikaze drones to Moscow, the U.S. is concerned about Iran's possible acquisition of Su-35 fighter jets.
These fighters are believed to significantly upgrade the air combat capabilities of the Iranian Air Force. The aircraft is designated as a 4 generation combat aircraft, designed primarily for air superiority roles. The aircraft is also known for its air-to-ground operations, and the large weaponry that could be mounted. Russia's United Aircraft Corporation UAC, says the Su-35 combines the qualities of a modern fighter, super maneuverability, superior active and passive acquisition aids. High supersonic speed and long range, capability of managing battle group actions, etc., and a good tactical airplane, wide range of weapons that can be carried, modern multi-channel electronic warfare system, reduced radar signature, and high combat survivability. According to the U.S. Intelligence Assessment, which has been upheld and supported by the White House National Security Council spokesman John Kirby Iran is already training its pilots to fly these aircraft. Not just that, U.S. officials maintain that Russia is providing Iran with unprecedented military and tech assistance in what is now a full-fledged defense partnership. This partnership poses a threat not just to Ukraine, but to Iran's neighbors in the region. We have shared this information with partners in the Middle East and worldwide, one senior administration official said. As previously observed by the Eurasian Times, the U.S. claims are probably directed at Gulf Arab countries that have attempted to restrain Iran's regional aggression, but have stopped short of taking a strong stand against Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Thank you.